Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Waverley Basketball Stadium for this, the first of a doubleheader between the Waverley Falcons. And uh, the first game is the a youth, Victorian Youth Championship Women's Game against Dandenong Rangers, followed at 2.30 by the State Championship Men's Game. And... Uh, That'll start, uh, that'll be against Hawthorne. Just, uh, waiting for the game to start here today. With about 39 seconds on the, the clock. This should be a fairly one-way comp, uh, one-way, uh, game today, Danny Nong sitting on the top of their of the pool. The Falcons not quite at the bottom of theirs but down the bottom end and to compound matters a number of players out for the Waverley Falcons. So Abby Lloyd out with injury, Emma Dongya out and Liv Rogers also out. But uh, Olivia Luttrell and Renee Dabas also out for the Dandenong team. In for them, Tegan Doran and Keely Patterson. Mia Parsons comes in for Waverley. And the game is away. First uh, possession to Dandenong. Rebound there by uh, Numakutis. Dean takes it away. It's down with Miller. Miller's looking for options. She finds it in uh, Taylor Dean. Back out to Miller. Much smaller team today as of the Falcons as Lambie kicks the ball out. They're running fast out of time. Dean's three-point attempt no good. Rebounded there by the Rangers player in Watman. And the shot goes up and out. Another rebound to Numa Kudis. That's her second. Poor. Uh, so a foul this time on the Falcons. Lammy picks up her first. So two points to Danny Nong. Danny Nong put a lot loading. Uh, putting a lot of pressure on the, uh, the Falcons' offense. Lanby over to Miller. Miller's three-point attempt it hits the ring before the uh, buzzer goes off, but uh, a foul's been found behind play. Second on the Falcons. Mia Parsons picks up her first. Ball moving through hands. Tarabolsi picking up the rebounds. Not being able to convert them though. She has a huge height advantage over the Falcons players. Parsons hands off to Numakutis. Numakutis, little floater doesn't go. It's Tarabossi is with the uh, the rebound again. And Slater can't get it to drop and now Miller is away. She finds Dean on the outside. Dean looks for options, can't get it in. 
Back out to uh, Miller. Landy drives. Kicks back out to Parsons. And Parsons' two-point attempt rims out. Here comes Watman again. Another miss to the to the Rangers. And two points from Numakutis. Scores all tied up at this stage. As there's another turnover, this time Dean's picked it up. She's got Miller on the outside. Miller looks back and finds Lambie. Back through hands, gets gets to uh, Numakutis. Back out to Miller. Miller into Parsons. Parsons can't get can't get it over the taller Rangers player. That's gone out of bounds with four seconds. No, it's called a foul. So lucky there for uh, the Falcons. Parsons at the line misses the first. Makes a second though. One point lead to the Waverley Falcons. Dean. Numa Curtis finds uh, Raymond. Raymond puts it up and is fouled on the way to the basket. So Sarah Slater picking up a foul. Very even start so far. Coaching staff of uh, Dandenong not too concerned at this stage. Another possession there to uh, the Falcons after a missed Rangers shot. And again, another foul as uh, Parsons goes, attacks the rim. Sarah Slater picks up a second. Jacinda Maxwell coming on to replace Slater. Parsons can't get the shot but picked up by Numakutis. Falcons unexpectedly at this stage I'd have to say have a three point lead they're a much shorter team both on the bench and in height than the, uh, the Dandenong team and at this stage they have the advantage Another turnover off a missed shot. Dean finds Miller. Miller out to Parsons. Back to, back to Dean. Dean in, into Parsons. And Parsons travels. Again, another turnover. This is something that the uh, Dandenong coaches will not be pleased about at this stage. They'd not be expecting to see so many turnovers from a normally efficient Dandenong squad. Raymond goes to the line. She's fouled again. Jacinda Maxwell picks up 
the foul this time. It's her first, but it's put uh, Raymond in line, and Dan Inong now has one foul to give before they put the Falcons in bonus. Six to two. Seven to two. Raymond hits both. Almost a steal there by Raymond. And this time a three point attempt has gone in. Bree Watman from deep corner. Another rebound there to the Falcons. Dean brings it out, finds Miller, across to Numa Curtis. Shot clock running down, she's found the shot, scored the basket and picked up a foul again. So trying for, to make this a three point play, Numa Curtis. Numa Curtis looked to sink this. She misses it. And onto the floor. Bree Watmore picking up the, the points after a good rebound there by uh, Richie. And the ball's all tied up. It'll be a Dandenong ball. And we have subs coming on at 33 for the Falcons. We have Sam Lambie and at 14. So Sam Lambie coming on for Miller. What more brings the ball down? Back out to Watmore for the three-point attempt. No good. Rebounded by Richie. Drive in there. And Watmore again for the three-point. McInerney, sorry. Lambie drives and scores. Scores 11-2. 11-2. 10, sorry. As Lambie nearly with the steal. But this time it is Numa Kudis. She's got Lambie on the run. Lambie will lay it up. So off the bench, Lambie has got four quick points. And what more has travelled? So, Haley Phillips comes on for Taylor Dean for the Falcons. Her little pass, the little pass into uh, Zaylee Raymond, too uh, too strong, and uh, what more? Three point attempt doesn't go. Good rebound there by uh, Parsons. McPhillips into Raymond. Raymond tried to hand off, but uh, McPhillips misread that. Instead, it was picked off by the Rangers. And down the other end, there's Watmore again. 
So far, Watmore has been the consistent scorer for the Rangers, picking up the majority of their points as McPhillips. Almost a great pass there. And Richie can't get it to drop. And she's stepped out of court. So it's a Falcons ball. Lambie hands off to McPhillips, gets it to Numakutus, back down to Lambie. Lambie drives and steps out of court. No, it's been fouled. So Lambie will go to the line. Falcons holding a slender lead of one point over the Dandenong Rangers at this point. One minute and six seconds to go in the period as Lambie's shot goes in and out. She misses both. Instead, it's with Watmore. No, it's with um, Bectus, who gets it to Watmore. Watmore's shot in and out, rebounded by the big. She gets it into uh, a cutting Richie. Now with Numa Curtis. Falcons have lost a lot of time off this uh, possession. It goes out to Lambie. Lambie drives, gets it into Raymond. Raymond's shot comes off the bottom of the ring. McPhillips gets it out. It's back out there to McPhillips, into Raymond. Raymond goes up to the basket. Can't get it to drop. Rebounded there by Young. Gets it, gets it across to a teammate in Watmore. Game clock running down. There's under four seconds to go. And the shot goes in from Watmore. So at the, at the half, at, at the quarter, sorry, we've got uh, the Rangers up by three points over quite a gallant effort from the Falcons. Short, short, uh, Handed uh, team today, running with uh, a much smaller squad of eight. And we'll be back very shortly. So the uh, second period about to begin.
We'll be back just in a second. There's uh, blood on the court. We'll have to uh, see that that's attended to, and we'll be back. So, with the court attended to, we're back into the uh, the game with the news that the Dandenong Rangers are three points up over the Waverley Falcons. Shot from the corner again. They've been very good so far from from deep corner, the Rangers. And this time it didn't go. McPhillips slips, hands the ball over to the Dandenong Rangers and Riches can't hold it in. Another turnover there to the uh, Rangers. Shah Scott coming on for um, Mia Parsons. Three-point attempt from Sam Lambie, no good. Picked up by the only rebounder under the basket. And that was not a Falcons player, but number 43, Keely Patterson, who drove all the way down the court and was fouled under the basket by the Waverley player. McPhillips replaced by Miller. Patterson picks up her first. Misses the second. Richards good enough to get the ball back. Goes through hands. It's with McKinnery. Back out to Rich to uh, Mucha. So 
Waverly ball from the baseline. Miller to inbound it. Poor inbound pass from Miller. Sees uh, a training drill there for the for the Rangers. In the end, a very simple two points to them. Here's Lanby, gets across to Miller. She now attacks the ball, attacks the basket, gets out of Shah Scott, whose three-point attempt is short. Numakuta's coming back in. And timeout to the Falcons. And we'll just also have a bit of a break to catch our breath after the, the rushing around. And we'll see you soon. So Dandenong uh, getting the ball in fairly simply. And there's two points. Miller looking for options. Ball stolen there by... Uh, Dandenong player and two points. Keely Patterson picks up another two. So this is what we expected to uh, be happening. Dandenong has uh, pulled out to a 12 point lead very, very quickly. And they get another possession on the jump ball. And a foul just as the clock was winding right down to zero. And it's called on Shah so Shah Scott gives away the, the foul and Sarah Slater goes to the line. She misses the first. Makes the second. Dandenong continues to uh, edge out a lead. As the crowd starts to build in anticipation of the second game today. It'll be the state champ men against uh, Hawthorne. The Falcons have been rather dominant lately. Hawthorne having a couple of uh, losses that they did not expect to get. 
As another two points there to uh, Sarah Slater. Numakutis brings the ball back down, running in point. And Raymond can't get the ball to stick. Instead, it's back with Watmore. Watmore has been excellent so far this game. She finds her teammates. And Tess Young, Tess Young couldn't get there, but Watmore ends up with the ball again, hands it off, and now goes, here goes Watmore inside. Can't get around uh, Parsons, who kicks the balls down with Dean. Numa Kutis, very simple layup there. Good, uh, good vision there from Dean to notice her, her teammate cutting through the key and a fairly simple handoff. Ended up with the two points. Slater with the rebound and the jump ball. This time will go to the Falcons. Dean into Raymond, back out to Numakutis. Numakutis drives. Has to be pulled up, has to pull up because of the defense of Watmore. It's through hands. Down under eight seconds. Miller has to take the shot. She misses that. Rebounded by uh, Danny Nong. And there's Slater again under the basket with the offensive rebound. The put back and she's travelled. So Sam Lambie coming on, replacing Miller. Luma Curtis down in the corner, finds Dean, Dean drives and scores. Watmore bringing the ball back. And the pass inside doesn't go. So again, another turnover. It's one thing that the, uh, the Dandenong team has not been particularly efficient at is uh, keeping hold of the ball under those few circumstances. They've had uh, uncharacteristic turnovers. However, Waverley has not been able to uh, take advantage of those. As Raymond goes up, misses the shot. It's a tough shot against a lot of uh, opposition. But then she gets the ball cleverly to Mia Parsons, and Parsons is fouled. So she will go and take the two shots. Sarah Slater picks up that foul. It's her third personal. And so she's going to sit down, being replaced by Jacinda Maxwell. Watmore can't get it to go this time. It's back with the Falcons. In the hands of Parsons. Parsons drives. Rebounded uh, by Raymond. Back out to Numakutis. Numakutis shot. No good. Another rebound. Sees it back with her. And out to Parsons who scores. Lambie, across to Dean. 
Down to Lambie again. She finds Numakutis. Numakutis drives baseline and tries a little scoop shot. Uh, again, poor decision making on the uh, Falcons' behalf. Ball goes over the top and is rebounded again by uh, Danny Nong. Three points to, to Mucha. So Richie, sorry. Brianna Richie. Falcons have got to move their zone a lot more if they're going to, going to uh, impact against this very potent uh, Danny Nong team. And there's the opening, another three-point attempt. This time doesn't go, rebounded there by Parsons. Kicks it out to Dean. Dean finds Lambie, or tries to. And uh, the ball has gone out of court off a uh, Patterson. So it's a Falcons ball. Into Raymond. Raymond finds Parsons. Parsons, two shot, doesn't go. Rebounded by Raymond. She's racking up the, uh, the rebounding stats. It's out to Lambie. Lambie's three-point attempt, no good. Collision of bodies there, but no call. It's now a jump ball. Dan Neong picks up the possession. Scores. Uh... 31 to 21. It's a 10-point gap. Danny Nong Wei has made that a 12-point gap with 40 seconds to go in the second quarter. Muma Kudis slows it down. It's out to Lambie. Lambie is under pressure now, the Falcons. And Parsons somehow gets it up through uh, through the arms of her opposition player. And what more down the other end finds an easy way to the basket. Two points to her. Eight seconds to go. Here's Numakuta. She drives. Can't get it to go. Raymond is fouled. So somehow the Falcons finding ways to get to the basket and score. But they are still 12 points behind. So, a 10-point game. Shot nearly goes in on the Hail Mary. And that's where we'll leave you for the halftime break. We'll be back ever so shortly to bring you that second half.
So we're back here at the Waverley Basketball Stadium for the second half of uh, this contest between the Waverley Falcons, Victorian Youth Championship women's team and the Dandenong Rangers. With the news that the Dandenong Rangers are up at this point in time, 35 to 25. Uh, it's been a spirited, uh, spirited contest there from the Falcons who are very short-handed today and short in terms of height. All the bigs out uh, with injuries or prior commitments. Uh, so they are quite short. Uh, quite short uh, as a team as well as on the bench. Against a much taller Daniel Rangers team. So we'll be uh, underway in the next 30 seconds. Looking, uh, looking forward, of course, to the uh, the state championship men's game. Waverley Falcons versus the Hawthorne Magic, and of course this. Uh, Features the return to the Waverley Courts of Andrew the Glove Kelly. Of course has played a lot of his junior career here at Waverley. Started off at Nunawadden, came over to Waverley, played uh, a number of years here and was has been a stalwart of the youth league teams over the years. Permanent employee here in the office. But now playing uh, after a season with uh, Sherbrooke. Chelsea is now with, uh, and then Chelsea is now with uh, Hawthorne. So Numakutas trying to find a way through, gets it to Dean. Dean inside can't get it uh, to anywhere before the uh, shot clock violation but was picked up anyway by the rangers and the rangers get it in through hands and miss the shot and this time there's been a foul from behind so Sophie Tarabolsi for the Rangers picks up that foul. Dean into Numakutis. Numakutis goes under the taller but Dandenong Rangers player and in the process picks up a foul as she misses her shot. So Keely Patterson picks up that foul. Very quickly the uh, Rangers out to three fouls. Falcons not able to take advantage of that and this was the pattern in the uh, first quarter where they got the uh, Rangers into foul trouble with about three minutes to go and they were not able to capitalise on that as Watmore brings the ball down she gets it into a teammate in Patterson back out to the uh, Keeley Patterson two Pattersons on the floor at the moment and a steal from Numakutis as a poor pass into the post resulted in that turnover Numakutis out to Miller. Miller skips it back up to top to Dean. There's 13 on the shot clock. It's out to Miller. Miller will turn. And she can't get it to drop. Another foul's been found this time. So Sophie Tarabolsi picks up the foul. Now... Standing on one foul away from the from putting the Falcons in the bonus, and the coach there, uh, Brad White, 
Wright wants a bit of a chat about what's going on. So we'll be back shortly. So the refs bring the uh, players in, and it's a Falcons ball. Again, a poor pass in. Falcons have not executed their inbound plays very well. This time it's into Dean. Dean gets it into Raymond. Raymond's shot. Her, uh, her attempt at the basket read very well by the def defense of Dandenong. And now Dandenong has a shot from outside. That doesn't go. Rebounded Numa Curtis is picking up a few stats. Numa Curtis finds a way to uh, Dean. Dean across to Miller. Miller will spot up and... Well over the top of the shot of the basket. Another turnover. Miller, who's, who's usually a, a good shot from outside, has, has struggled so far this game. And what more misses... The inbound to the big in Tarabolsi. She gets it back to Watmore. Watmore guarded by uh, Miller. Finds a teammate in deep corner. Miller with the rebound. Drives. Gets it to Dean. Dean comes across split line. Finds Numa Curtis. Numa Curtis calling for a screen herself. Spins backwards. Gets it then to uh, Parsons. So good screen and roll there from the Falcons. Not read by the uh, defense of Dandenong. Too easily rebounded there by the Dandenong Rangers pair. Sees... Uh, Sees another two points to them. Dean drives, finds Raymond. Raymond again, scoop shot. Doesn't go. Raymond's very good from the block, but uh, and there's a travel. Yeah, so Raymond, Raymond has a, a couple of signature moves that uh, coaches uh, will pick very, very easily and will get their bigs to, uh, to nullify that, that move of hers. As Parsons turns, can't quite get it to go. And there's another three. This time it's Shannon Patterson. I think that's her second or third from outside. Poor pass again from Raymond, but off the foot of the Dandenong player. 
Lambie on for Dean. Somehow the Falcons retain possession of that. It's out with Parsons. Parsons gets it to Numa Curtis. 18 seconds on the shot clock. It's with Lambie. Lambie back to Parsons. Numa Curtis across to, Mil uh, to Lambie again. And it's a shot from outside. This time good from Numa Curtis. Now, much better work from the Falcons there. They were getting it through hands quickly. And move the defence of the Rangers to give a clear shot to Numa Curtis. But then their defence let them down as Tarabolsi finds it fairly easy to get to the, the basket and rolls the two points in. And then a poor pass across the top of the tools. Sees another opportunity for uh, for the Rangers, and they don't make any mistake with that as they quickly race out to a 44-31 point lead. Again, the Falcons not having the ability to draw that final foul. And this time they give away a foul, courtesy of Michaela Miller. Good foul at this point in time. Stop that uh, fast break there. So Sarah Slater at the line. No mistake with that first one. Or the second. And the subs are coming in as Slater sits down, replaced by Maxwell. Lamby shot short. And quick ball reversal there from the... Uh, from the Rangers. Sees another two points added to their score. Ball's gone into uh, the Falcons. And another two for Numakutis. Good defense there from Numakutis. However, the range is too big, too strong, and too many of them under the basket. So this time it's a timeout to the Waverley Falcons. We might try and uh, get some stats up for you. Let you know how the... Uh Girls are going there. We'll be back shortly.
So the uh, leading scorers for both teams, Maria Numakutis on 13. She's actually the game high scorer at the moment. Bree Watman, Watman for the, um, the Rangers. As the uh, Dandenong Rangers extend their defence out. Shah Scott on the floor. Picks up the ball and gets it down. It's in Raymond's hands. Raymond can't get it to drop. She pushes the ball out to Numakutis. Numakutis back out to Scott. Now with Lambie. Lambie looking for options. Gets it to Miller. Miller trying to get the ball back to cutting Lambie. Just a little bit too quick on the pass and Lambie missed the... Uh, the ball. So it's a turnover there to the Falcons. Danny Nong coming down the floor. Gets it inside. It's back out to uh, Muncha who uh, throws it away. Trying to get the skip past the deep corner. Shah Scott gets the ball and the foul and Scott will go to the line. So the Falcons now on the bonus. Shah Scott. Misses. <coughs> As. Nice. Makes a second. Which uh, goes to the line. Can't get it to drop. Miller with a rebound. Gets it across to Numakutis. Numakutis looking for options. Has got uh, Lambie. Lambie drives. Finds Scott. Scott out to Numakutis. Shot must go up. It's down to the last couple of seconds. And they're going to not make it. Oh, they. <laughs> The ball in and out off a Hail Mary attempt from Numa Curtis. Danny Nong drives. Three-point attempt in and out. Mutcher with the rebound. Stolen by Miller. Miller drives and she's fouled. <coughs> Miller going to the line. So Mitchell picks up her first, and Miller, not having had a successful shooting night, gets her first. Crowd building for the second game here. Watch out. Through hands, it's over to Watmore. Watmore. Miller with the rebound. Numakutis now. This ball's quickly down to, to Lambie. Lambie back to Numakutis. Out to McPhillips. Miller. Finally, the drive from Numakutis, and she doesn't get it to go. And now there's a violation this time. It's called out off uh, Danny Nong's Falcons ball. And Raymond some gets the two. 
So Falcons managing to keep the score reasonable, but not taking advantage of the fact that they've had Danny Nong in foul trouble as Mucha puts it at the two. And that's the end of the quarter. And we'll be back very shortly with the final period. So the Falcons will get the possession for this uh, final. Final inbound. And it's with Mumikutas into Parsons. Parsons tries to turn the corner, can't get it to go. It's rebounded by Danny Nong. And a poor pass and sees the, uh, the ball go out of bounds off the uh, Dandenong player. Good bit of hustle there from the Falcons, Sam Lambie. Mimikudis back out to Dean, who's back on the floor again, placing McPhillips. Lambie. Can't get the ball to Numakutas. It goes, however, it's a Falcons ball. Let's see if their inbound plays can be executed a little bit better. They do. They get it in this time. And again, it's through hands, but they're running short on the shot clock. They're down to five. They have to get it up. And an offensive foul on Raymond. That's only her second, so she's in no real trouble there. Watch out. Rangers content to move the ball around quickly until they get an open shot. And watch her inside, get another rebound, juggles it, but it'll go in. She's been good the last five minutes as she is, helps to get a, a double team on Sam Lambie who almost turned the ball over. It's gone out to the Falcons and Parsons. Can't get it to drop. Raymond with the intercept. Gets around Mucha. And this time there's a blocking foul. So that's Tegan Dor Doran, picks up uh, her first. Yeah. 
Both shots missed. And here come the Rangers. It's with Mucha. Mucha's shot over the top of the basket, but rebounded by her teammate. And now St Sam Lambie will pick up the foul. So Sam picks up a second. No one gets out to that shot, which goes over the basket. And, and a bit ball handling error sees the, the Falcons with the possession. Dean drives. She's got Lambie on the outside. Kicks it to Numa Curtis instead, who gets it to Raymond. Raymond travels. Falcons retain possession. Numa Curtis floated no good. Raymond, however, gets the uh, gets the intercept, then throws it away, trying to be too cute getting the ball to Numa Curtis when she had somebody on, on top of the key. But Mucha can't control the ball, and it's gone out again. A Falcons possession. Shot clock violation. <coughs> Sees the ball with the uh, Rangers. Back into... Uh, Slater, who can't get the ball. Now Numa Curtis running hard. Ball stolen by the Rangers. That's Keely Patterson. And the foul on uh, San Lambie. Timeout to the Waverley Falcons. With the score at 54... 54 to uh, 38. Three fouls on the uh, on the Falcons and one on the uh, the Rangers. 6:14 to go in the game. And at this stage, the Rangers have done enough to, uh, to have the game in their grasp. As the crowd builds in anticipation of the Hawthorne Waverley Champ Men the Clash starting at 2.30, so just over half an hour from now, we'll be bringing you that particular game. So, Watman on the floor again.
Keely Patterson can't get the ball to go, but uh, Sarah Slater picks up the offensive rebound and draws the foul. Danny Nong uh, having backed away from the fouls this, this quarter. They were in foul trouble in both the first and the third quarters. And in both cases, the Falcon, uh, Falcons not able to capitalise on that fact. But now they have put the Falcons under the pump. As Slater picks up her second. Miller now finds Raymond. Lambie out to Miller. Miller, two points. Watman doesn't get it to go. Rebounded there by uh, the Falcons. It's with Miller. Miller kicks it across to Numa Curtis. Numa Curtis, floater, doesn't go. Sarah Slater with the uh, rebound. Gets it to Watman. Watman drives hard, pulls it out. Now she goes back in again, pulls up for the jumper, and that one goes in. Really good uh, vision there from Watman. Numa Curtis. Parsons into Numa Curtis. Numa Curtis has, is triple teamed and the travel. Slater again goes to the basket. This time the ball goes off hands and it'll be a Falcons ball. So Danny Nong extending the defense down the floor. Ball's got to, uh, to Miller who swings it through, hands. And there's Parsons trying again to get the ball into Numa Kudis. She gets a touch on that shot, a block. And the ball has gone out of bounds off... Uh, Patterson, Shannon Patterson that is. Lambie looking for the screen and roll. Now she gets this Almost gets the ball back, but uh, it's gone to the uh, Rangers. Four minutes to go on the game clock. Scores are 40 to 57 in the Rangers' favour. Ball's thrown away there by the Rangers. Here comes Numakutis driving on the much taller Slater. Double team and then a foul. No, it's a travel. Again, another steal there by the Falcons on a poor pass from the from the Rangers. Lanby with a three-point attempt in and out. Miller. With the rebound, almost uncontested there. It's back out to Numakutis. Miller back to Numakutis. Through hands. It's with, with uh, McPhillips. And her two points is good. Watman. Across to Patterson. Back to Watman. Watman's three-point attempt. Very good attempt there. She was had her feet set. Falcons have not 
read her particularly well. She's uh, scored almost at will. Double team number Curtis. This is a this is a, a definite tactic that they're going to double team or triple team Maria Numakutis every time she gets the ball. 42 plays 60. And Felix misses the rebound, the box out and the rebound, and Sarah Slater picks it up. The fight. Miller lucky not to give away the foul there. And this time it's Raymond with the rebound and it is a foul this time on Slater. That'll be her fourth, I think. So Shah Scott coming on, giving Raymond a rest. And during that break, Watman has sat down. No, Watman's still on. Then the Curtis loses the handle on the, b the ball, but it spills off uh, Slater. And this time, Watman sits down along with uh, Tarabolsi. So a good double team from the Rangers on that drive by Dean sees, uh, sees the shot clock violation. 1.29 to go in the game. Falcons 18 points down at this stage. Sarah Slater says, I want to try and make it 20. She can't do it. And Parsons... Gets the rebound and the foul. That's uh, Slater's fifth foul. While she'll be disappointed personally, it's not too much of an issue for the... Uh, her team as they uh, have a substantial lead and they have are not really in foul trouble as McPhillips loses that the ball Dean with the shot in and out rebounded there by the Rangers they're running down in numbers Poor pass in to the post, sees Parsons with the ball. She loses control. Gets it to McPhillips, but eight second violation. Miller with the rebound. Ten seconds to go in the game. This will be the last play. Miller drives and is fouled. So it'll be a baseline ball with four seconds to go. Again, the Falcons have not run their inbound plays particularly efficiently. And that's the case here as Dean finds some way to get to the get to the ring and she's been fouled. So Falcons have a chance to, to bring it down under the 18 points. Three seconds to go on the shot clock and the game clock. Or on the game clock, I should say. Dean misses.
makes the second. And that will be it. So, a spirited game from the Falcons, but too good by the, uh, the Dandenong Rangers. We'll be back very shortly with the second game of today's doubleheader. Waverley Falcons champ men taking on the Hawthorne Magic. See you soon.